Hi, uh, my name is David Mason. I'm going to show you my project that I made for um, graduating with honors. Just making sure my video is working. We made a um, recipe application that's using an API. Um, so when you can see, this is the application. When it first loads, I'll refresh it to demonstrate. Um, it's going to populate um, with different recipes, which um, it's doing that through the lifecycle method component. Um, did mount, and inside of that, we are making a, our uh, fetch call to our API. Um, we're getting our response and our response data as we're uh, setting the state. And... Um, then through manipulating manipulating the state, we are getting it to render um, actually on the screen here. So I'll show you a little bit more of the UI. Um, so when you click on a recipe, the recipe will then pop up. It'll give you the instructions. Um, this one's kind of short. It's a shorter recipe. Let me see if I can get a larger recipe here. That one doesn't have an instructional video. There we go. So um, you're going to get instructions on how to make um, the dish, the ingredients are, that are used as well, and as well as an embedded um, an embedded YouTube video um, that somebody will actually walk you through. So it is fully functioning. It is online. It's being hosted through um, my GitHub after running an NPM build on it. Um, and you can do search parameters as well. So say if you wanted to search for chicken dishes, you just click the search button and um, it'll find all matching uh, dishes on the API up to uh, 25. So it should give you the 25 most popular dishes um, that will populate up. So I'll give you a little bit of a breakdown on kind of how this looks here when you actually click on it. So you have the component did mount that's rendering all the cards on the main page. And then, um, so basically what we did was we pulled, let me get, um, we're, we're pulling all of that data and then we're mapping over it, as you can see, because it's an array of objects. So we're mapping over that array. Um, we're pulling out each individual and then we're passing it over to our meal cart component. And then this is where you can actually see the, um, the card body, this is our styling, um, as well as we have a CSS file. But this is the basis of the cards that you're seeing, and it's just populating them with um, everything that comes up after the API search. Um, as far as the individual, when you click on it, when you actually click on the recipe, um, this is where this is happening. So um, one problem that we ran in is we wanted shareable URLs. So if somebody was using the app, and they wanted to share it to a friend that they could then click on it. So we had to, um, this is what we, so in the React router, um, we route to this page. And um, here, let me go to the main component here, which is our app.js. Um, you can see the route right here. So it's going to route by the ID, uh, then that's being passed to the um recipe component here and we are grabbing that um as props um so that way it matches the id and the url and users can share it click on it and they'll actually be pulled to the correct um recipe so that's one thing um issue that we ran into here and um another issue is just structuring the data as you can see it's a lot so we wanted to make the layout clean and um user friendly not too complex so um, another issue was embedding because um, the API only had a URL rather than an actually embed um, link. So we had to um, use string methods, as you can see, and we kind of had to slice from an index um, and get the actual video ID. And then um, we passed that video ID into this where we destructure it. And this is how YouTube typically does an iframe um, for embedding in um, React program. So we had to destructure it, pass it into here, and that's how the video is rendered on the screen. And um, yeah, that's about it. I'll give you one more look, uh, detail, and yeah, React super helpful for building everything. Um, programs are going to need to repl uh, replicate. Um, 
that kind of things from an API caller, um, whatever you happen to be building. So here's like a Chinese dish, one of my favorites, General Tao's video, ingredients, um, instructions, and yep. So hope everybody liked it and thank you for watching.